purpose of the Turkish get up. Um, the Turkish get up is one of the best full body movements you can do to improve your shoulder stability, flexibility, and mobility. Right? The get up is used very often for shoulder rehab injuries. So the get up not only serves as an awesome primer and warm up movement when done with light weight, it's also a fantastic diagnostic, which means you're going to know if something doesn't feel right throughout your entire body by just performing a few get ups. So that's why the Turkish get up is one of my favorite warm up movements as well as exercises. Now, that's one end of the get up. The other end of the get up is the get up is a strength movement. Now, if you want to learn to press a heavier kettlebell and move more weight, heavy get ups will help get you there. Right? Stabilizing that weight overhead through all sorts of ranges of motion is really going to make you a lot stronger, especially when it comes to overhead pressing. Now, there's a couple things that we have to take into consideration for the get up. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step. There are six steps to the Turkish get up, but before we get into that, we have to learn to pick up the bell from the line position. So you're going to get your bell, you're going to put it to your side. Okay? You're going to lie down. And now the safest way to pick up the bell from here is you're going to roll over, you're going to slide your hand through the handle, get the bell nice and deep in the base of the palm so that way I maintain a straight wrist. A straight wrist, again, remember, is when your knuckles line up with the bones in your form. It almost looks like I'm snake heading or tilting my wrist forward a little bit. When our front two knuckles line up with the bones in our form. So, I'm going to slide my hand through, nice and deep in the base of my palm. My other hand comes on top, I'm going to hug it nice and close to my belly. Alright, or my sternum, it's in line with my belly button. Excuse me, my sternum, my belly button, sorry. I'm going to roll over to my back. Alright, again, it's in line with my belly button. I'm going to press it up overhead. Alright, this is the first part of the get up set. Now, from here, this is very important. When I'm pressing the bell overhead, I'm maintaining the shoulder retraction. Right? My lats are engaged, my shoulder is pulled back and down. So, what I don't want is to shrug the weight up. See how my shoulder comes up off the ground? Keep that shoulder pulled back and down. We want our lats engaged. We want that shoulder pack. We're going to maintain the shoulder pack throughout the movement. So, if you don't have it right in the setup, you're going to lose it immediately. So, one more time. Slide the hand through, pull it in. Now, get that shoulder pack, press it up. Turn to the side. From here, the setup is same side foot as planted, alright, at about 45. So, my legs end at about a 45. And my opposite side leg is going to extend again at a 45 in the opposite direction. From there, I'm going to plant my elbow. Now, this is a modification, right? They get up used to be here with a straight arm. Now, it's from the elbow, right? The reason being is because we want to use this elbow to help pull us up. We want to use this foot to help push us up, all right? So, this is the setup. The foot is planted. The heel is close to the butt at a 45. No more. The leg is extended. 45 or more. This arm is parallel to that leg with your forearm up. All right. First step from there, we're going to punch the bell to the ceiling using this heel and this elbow to help pull us up to our forearm. All right. This is the first position to get up and look at the bell. Now I want you to look at my shoulders. All right. A lot of times when people do get ups, here's the problem that I see. All right, you see this? The shoulder crams up to the ear. We're putting a lot of strain on the soft tissue here. This is how we're going to get shoulder problems, all right? The get up is meant to be a fantastic movement for your shoulder. So you have to be sure, again, this arm maintain, maintain that retraction. Engage the lats, screw your tricep towards your lats, and get that shoulder packed down in that big chest. And same thing with this arm. You don't want to shrug the weight up. Engage down. Pull it down. So my lats are very tight, very tight, maintaining that good retraction. Roll back down. That's step one, that's to the forearm. So we're to the forearm. The second step is easy. We're going to plant the hand. We're going to use this to pivot. All right, notice my hand pivots. Okay, I'm not, I'm not moving. I'm planting it down. And I'm screwing all the way up. Again, maintaining that retraction. I'm going to lose that. All right, keep that pulled back and down. That's the third step. All right, forearm. Two hand, maintaining that retraction. After that, we're going to bridge, squeeze our glutes, come nice and high. All right, we want a good amount of space so we can sweep the leg through. Again, maintaining the retraction, the lats are engaged. So, going back down, we're coming up to the forearm, punching the bell up, make 
make sure you keep looking at the bell at all times. To the hand, bridge nice and high. Now from here, our straight leg is going to sweep under our body, and we're going to plant our knee in line with our hand. This confuses a lot of people because they try and come straight into the lunge by bringing their leg straight through. This is very incredibly awkward, all right, and uncomfortable. Do not try and do that. Instead, bridge up, bring your leg through, and plant your knee in line with your hands. We have this nice L formation with our leg. Right? One knee is facing forward, one knee is pointing towards that wall. Right? Maintain that shoulder attraction. Now the next step is we're going to swivel into a lunge. This back leg is going to almost windshield wiper as I dip my hips and come into a forward lunge position. Now note, this is the only time that I'm looking forward and not looking up at the bell. My shoulder is still back down, I'm not shrugging the weight up, and I'm maintaining plantar flexion on my back foot. I want these toes planted so I can help push up. The finish is very simple. We just stand straight up to a lunge. Again, maintaining that shoulder pad. We work down the same way. Step back, plant the knee, but do not bang it. Swivel the leg first, and then plant your hand in line with your knee. Hand has to be in line with your knee. Notice for the get up at all times, there's a straight line connecting the bell to the ground. So in our case, we say we really don't hold the bell up the ground does. Our body is just a structure in between. All right. On the way down, we do not have to high bridge. That's optional. You can come straight to your butt. Maintain that shoulder pact. Roll down to the forearm and then push the earth away as you come down one shoulder at a time. Let me demonstrate with the bell. I roll, I secure the bell, come up, I get my retraction going, I press the bell up, I set up, alright? Deep breath, I punch and crunch to my forearm, alright? I maintain that retraction, big chest. I'm going to pivot, screw up onto my hand. Again, maintaining that retraction, bridging nice and high. I'm still looking at the bell. Sweeping my leg through in line with my hand. I'm going to swivel my hips. Now both knees are facing forward and I am looking forward. From here, I stand straight up. Once we get up, we have to get back down. Come back down. Swivel the leg. Plant the hand in line with the knee. I'm now looking up again at the bell. Bring the leg through. High bridge is optional on the way down. Come down to the forearm. Maintain that retraction. Keep that distance between your shoulder and your ear. Push the earth away and come to the ground. Pull it down, roll to the side. 